Well, by the time I was supposed to be reading, when I was a preteen, I guess, um, I would much rather be outside playing football and climbing trees, and so, uh, well, my sister stayed inside and read. So I didn't really love reading until I was about 16. And uh, I remember by the time I got out of college, uh, when I was 21, I decided that I was going to, I was working, but I decided I was going to read all the books that I'd heard about in those four years that I hadn't read. And so I did, I did that. Um, do any of the books stand out in your memory in particular? Um, those books, I don't know. No, uh, not really. I mean, later I ran away from home in the, in the 60s when people were running away from home. With my, I ran away with my first female lover, and I was 29, and um, she was a painter, and I read a hundred books to her when we were in the mountains in Spain, so I know the, what those books are. We read all of Virginia Woolf, we read T.S. Eliot, we read Kierkegaard, we read um, uh, lots of philosophers, actually, uh, Spanish philosophers, whatever we could get our hands on. Uh, in English, and we would make runs into the book, one English bookstore in Barcelona from our little uh, tiny village that we lived in and buy whatever we hadn't read yet. I remember reading Capote's In Cold Blood that year, I remember. I also, we were very involved, both of us, with Virginia Woolf, and Leonard Woolf was still alive, and we read her diaries, and we wrote him a letter saying, when are you going to publish the rest of these? And he actually answered us. <laughs> I still have a love affair with Virginia Woolf. I still buy what I can uh, read about her. So. Um, That's why I hung that portrait that belongs to Jenny, but I love that portrait of her.